back again my beautiful people the done of the boy yard man there yes people there with and the work you know we have a couple more hours for the game to kick off Arsenal, um West Ham versus Arsenal and I know a lot of people are gonna think it's supposed to be a routine three points for Arsenal but people it's not gonna be that easy we know West Ham West Ham for the last couple of seasons under David Moss they average about I think it's 32 or 35 percent of the ball home and away they are the team that play with a low block and if you can't break them down you won't score and West Ham is very hard to break down just remember Boxing Day we play them at the Emirates could we score? no we camp out in the 18 yard and, and 6 yard box but we could not score it's not going to be a game like Liverpool where Liverpool play an island open and attacking where we can we can catch them on their counter attack no West Ham is looking to catch us on the counter attack and for matter of fact, you know a lot of teams now, they started to play also with a low block. Once it's not the so-called big team them, they're going to play with a low block. And we, Mikel Arteta, have to find a way to break down team to score a goal when team comes and play a low block. And to do that, you have to have creativity. And that's the only thing going to pick a lock. And all you got for me is, as I always say, he's not that creative. So does Trussard come in the starting eleven? I would have hoped so. Does Georgina drop out? I would have think so because we don't need that defensive from Georgina because we know that we're going to have majority of the ball. So that defensive, I don't think we're going to need it. So, if me, I, you know Mikel Arteta, he maybe go with the same starting level that start against Liverpool. And I can't even blame him because it was a good game. But I believe Zinchenko got a knock. I don't think Zinchenko will start. Um, Tommy Yasu is back. Uh, I was he on the bench last week. I think so, but he's available. So maybe Tammy Yasu come in, but I don't really like Tammy Yasu at right back. To be honest with you, I prefer him at the, on the left. So that gives chance to maybe Kibiok to come in. You just never know with Mikel Arteta. But I would have loved to see. I know I'm gonna go with um, Kyle Avert because we're gonna need height. Because we're gonna have most of the ball. We're gonna get corner, so we're gonna need height. So I expected Kyle Avert to start today. But is he going to be a little bit cosmopolitan and, and drop Georgie, you know, and go with the likes of Trussard or maybe Eddie? You never know, because still, uh, we still have um, Jesus out. You just never know what Michael Arteta will do. But I would like to see he go with that two holy midfielder and Declan Rice getting forward, i.e. we're talking about um, Georgina you know, and Declan Rice. I, I don't see that formation I don't see that at West Ham knowing that we're gonna have most of the ball so people don't think that Arsenal are gonna have it that easy to score don't think it's just an easy routine three points we're gonna get at um, West Ham today it's gonna to be very very hard and like I said you remember Boxing Day it takes time to break them down and we never break them down we never score we actually lose that game and that was part of our streak um losing streak coming up to a 605 game losing streak coming up so people when you don't know what we're there what they are i do the thing watch the thing but people don't forget to subscribe to the channel yardman afc you know we have another maybe four and a half hours before kickoff with us there people are going with our vibes and big up on yourself people who don't know arsenal west ham versus arsenal like i said don't look for arsenal to win this game comfortable if we score one early then we're gonna get um, West Ham out of their shell and maybe they come out and that's that's the key score early to get them to come out if you don't and the more the game go on the more we continue on, um, not scoring is the more it's going to get hard and frustrated and West Ham is going to sit deeper with that low block and maybe we'll come away with a point or West Ham going to check to catch us on the, on the counter attack just like what they do at the Emirates Stadium so we know David Moss we know that's what they plan to do if they get a draw from us and remember they don't lose against big team at, at um the the, the olympic the, the, their stadium they at, they beat man city they beat liverpool i believe and they draw with some of the one well, of the top um six team in the premier league so like i said people don't look for this game to be a easy three points it's going to be odd it's going to be a low block it's going to be west ham camping their 18 yard back it's going to have arsenal of the bar but what can we do can only god be more versatile can he be more all, all over the pitch people we just have to wait and see we have about four more hours to go and 
that will be the, the telltale sign if Arsenal can come up with, with these three points. I would have really loved to see Arsenal come up with these three points, but as I said, people, it's West Ham. They don't have the ball that much, whether away or home, they like to play without the ball. And that's how David Moore set them up. And you're, oh, can you blame the guy? I mean, they're still in Europa League. They were six or seven. They, I know they're in the top half. I know they're pushing for Europa League again. So can you blame him? I know a lot of Western fans don't like the type of football David Moore's play. He's not looking to attack. And, you know, it's, it can be a bit boring at times. You know, you just see the opponent just bombarding, you know, bombarding, you know, bombarding, you know, and you know, West Ham player, West Ham, um, sorry, West Ham fan wouldn't like that, the type of ball game that they even must play, but at the end of the day, it's working, look where they're sitting at the table, you're still in the European League, so, we know it's going to go, people, big up on yourself, and the done of the boy yard man there, people, don't forget, to leave in a comment, tell me what you think, should Trussard start today, and Georgina drop to the bench, we just don't know how Mikel Arteta are going to go, but, I would have liked to see that one, and, we know we got a couple injury player. We got about six player. We know we got um, Vera out. We have Jesus out. We have um, Emil Smith through. I think um, Mikel Arteta saying in press conference he turned his ankle. So I don't look for for him to um, play. And we know we have Thomas Partey long term injury out. Who have out again? We have um, Timber out. Yeah, that is five. So we have. Um, Oh, sorry, I paused while I go. Sorry. Yeah, so I was just thinking. So we'll have um, Timber out, we'll have Jesus out, we'll have Fabio Vera out, we'll have um, ML Smith Rowe out, we'll have Thomas Partey out. Um, any more injured that I know of? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's five. Uh, I think it's six in about. I don't remember the next player that says injured and out. Uh, Jesus. Did I call him there? But yeah. So people who don't know, when they do the thing, Big up on yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, people. Let's grow this channel. Let's grow this channel, people. Just grow the channel. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Give the video a thumbs up. Big up on yourself, people. With there, I go and do the thing. Over and out.